Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Gateway laptop here. This one is a Gateway GWTN156-4GR. That information can be found on the bottom of the laptop if you flip it upside down. Right there it says model number GWTN156-4GR. And this laptop do come with a 256 gig uh, SSD on it, but if people keep asking me how can I operate a hard drive in it, can I put a mechanical drive and what kind of hard drives you can put and how many you can put. And in this video I'm going to go through those and show you guys how you can upgrade and what are the extra hard drives you can put on. All right. Before anything we do, if you replace the mechanical, I mean the hard drive in here, the SSD drive, remember that on the new SSD drive there will be no operating system or there will be no more you know, files. So I made a video how to create your Windows 10 USB boot drive. I'll leave that link in the video description. You can check that and I'll make a video how you can install the Windows 10 in the proper way. It's really simple and you can install Windows within 10 minutes. It's very recommended. So back up your files if you want to do any upgrading on external hard drive um, before replacing the hard drive in here. But if you want to add an extra hard drive to, for your files, you don't need to do any of those. And that's really easy. I'm gonna go over one by one you know, what you can do. Out of the box, this comes with 256, but if you wanna buy a bigger hard drive, the only hard drive that this laptop takes are two types of hard drive. M.2 hard drives only takes is an M.2 slot. And they have, they don't have an, any SATA 2.5 inch space in there. So the main hard drive in here, it's an M.2 SSD PCI Express, which has the windows on it which is 256 gig. But if you want to buy a four terabyte or two terabyte or one terabyte uh, extra hard drive, you can buy it, but make sure that it's an M.2 SATA, not M.2 NVMe, because NVMEs will not work on the extra expansion that it has. So once you get, let's say the M.2s are with a two notch on them, right? So if it is an NVMe, but I'm just gonna do it for demonstration purpose with an NVMe, so you guys can see it. Uh, first thing you need to do is to power off the laptop, remove these two screws right from here. I'm going to be using an IPX screwdriver set. I'm going to be using a Phillips number zero. Now what you want to do, you want to remove these two screws. Make sure the power is off to the laptop. These are tiny screws. Once you remove them, all you need to put your finger right there and lift up this cover. And they do provide you with a nice a tiny screw right there. Go ahead and remove this screw right from there. Now what you want to do, you want to grab your M.2 drive, which has to have two notch on them. And you want to place it right in the slot right in there. And if you pay attention, the slot, there's a little notch on it. Let me zoom in. So you guys can see that tiny notch right there. So make sure the notch in there matches the notch right in here. Um, what you want to do, you want to grab this one in 10 or 15 degrees and you want to slide it right into that crack right there and push it all the way in and push it towards the model, the screen and you're going to see the screw holes right here uh, align nicely. And next thing, what you want to do is just grab the screw and put it right on top and grab the tiny cover, place the back of the cover first and then bring it up and then put down the two screws. Right now with this one, you power it on and it's gonna work fine your windows and you on my computer, you're gonna detect another extra hard drive that you put. So that's how you can upgrade this expansion hard drive right in there, M.2. Now, but if you wanna replace your SSD, the main SSD, that's different case. Now all you need to do is to remove all the screws at the bottom of the cover here. There are two types of screw, the long ones and the short one. The two long ones are the one in the corner of the laptop at the back by the hinges. So go ahead and remove the two big long screws and keep them in one pile. And now the rest of the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Go ahead and remove all of them, even the one in the middle, the one on the cover too. Go ahead and remove all of them. Again, if you guys like my videos, if my videos are helping you guys to do your own upgrade, uh, servicing you can click that like and uh, subscribe to the channel to support me i'll greatly appreciate it helps and motivates me to make more videos take requests 
and answer your questions in the comment area. You can either leave the cover on or you can just remove it, doesn't make any difference, but you do need to remove the screws. Now you need an opening tool. For opening tool, I'm going to be using a guitar pick and metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. What you want to do here to open up the laptop a little bit, and you want to stick the guitar pick between the top and the bottom cover, just like that, about one or two millimeters in, and you want to just twist it, and you want to hear opening and big clicks, the soft clicks. You want to hear those clicks, and you want to go all around in the front end, work yourself through to the sides, make sure you go all the way to the back corner, and do the left and right side. I have the camera in front of me, I can see. Let me see if it's going to focus. Is it going to focus or not? Focus. There we go. All right. Now, once we open the front and the sides, we want to do the same thing on the back end. You want to stick, let's close up a little bit. You're going to stick it right in there and we're going to twist it. And the cover should come up pretty easy. Now go ahead and lift up the bottom cover. Now, the one that you installed is right over here. And if you want to remove it, simply just unscrew it. Lift up 10 degrees. You don't want to pull it all the way up. Otherwise, you're going to break the den. And just slide it back in 10 degrees. And put the screw back in so you don't lose the screw for the future use. Now, you do not need to remove the battery to do these services. That's why they do actually give you the space in there. If you want to remove the battery, just pull this jack backward and the battery will get disconnected. But you do not need to do that. The other hard drive is right here. This is an SSD NVMe drive, but they do actually give you an M.2 uh, SATA. I would recommend you guys to put an NVMe in here. It will be much, much faster because this is a PCI Express lane and this one is not a PCI Express lane. So to remove this one, remove one screw at the back the same way that you remove the other one. Left up about 5 to 10 degrees and slide it out. You see the M.2 SATA, they have a two notch on them. And the NVMe, it has only one notch on them. So what you want to do, grab your NVMe drive up to 4 terabyte or even more if you can find. Make sure the notch matches in 10 degrees, slide it all the way in. Bring it down, make sure the screw hole matches, and put the tiny screw right on top. Doing this, you will not have any operating system. Remember, you have to install your Windows freshly installed. This is a low brand Net, Net AC, whatever it's called. So I would suggest you guys to put on at least one terabyte, preferably a Samsung brand, which are really durable, and they will last you many years. I really like the Samsung brands. These are one of the, those brands. I'll leave the link in the video description so you can purchase yourself one of these. All right. But these are backward compatible with M.2 SATA, so you can put an NVMe or the SATA one. But I will suggest NVMe, which is much faster. Once you did the upgrade that you need, now grab it on. And you have the headphone jack right here. You want to scoop this one in from the side. Make sure this headphone jack goes right all the way in. Squeeze it down, make sure it's all the way in, and then let go and squeeze and push the back side, come all the way to the corner and squeeze this end too. Now what you want to do, you want to open up the laptop a little bit and you want to just squeeze the case together. And make sure it just clicks in all the way to the front end with two hands, just go ahead and squeeze them or pinch them to the back corner. Once you did that, all you need to do is to put the bottom cover in here. Make sure this side goes down first. Put that one in there. Put there first the two long screws, one on each corner at the back. And the rest of the short screws, just slap it right on the bottom case. And that should be all. And don't forget to install your windows. I hope you guys liked this video. I helped you guys to do your own upgrade. If it did, you know what to do. Click that like and subscribe. I appreciate it. If you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I always try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up placing the bottom screws.